Yo, what's going on guys? James Madison Hots here. We're out at Deland Police Department. Uh, they just got done with, I'm gonna call it an illegal checkpoint with the Volusia County Sheriff's Office. They were taking people's tags, phone numbers, and uh, requesting ID. I think they were demanding ID. They were telling them they need to get their name, which is the same. And uh, it was all because of a shooting that took place and they detained over 200 plus people. It was crazy to see it. So we're gonna come over here and see if we can get some uh, information possibly from them, but I doubt, I doubt they're gonna give any information. So. So we'll see there. These guys are over here on the side over here just hanging out and it looks like they're doing. Yep, from I-4. So, yeah, we're gonna do some. Uh, we're gonna do some B-roll here and check and see what's going on. They seem to be pretty good. Oh, he's getting his flashlight out. He's gonna come talk to me. There you go. Body cameras on. There we are. Everything okay? Good? Okay. Are you good? You do, I'll help. Yeah. I just saw they just looked down here, so I didn't know if you need our help or anything. Yeah, uh, what's your name, sir? My name's Tim Hughes. My title's a lieutenant with the land pleading. You're a lieutenant. Hey, lieutenant, if you mind if I speak with you for a second? About? Uh, basically an unlawful detainment. Okay, what's that? What are you talking about? Uh, I guess you, were you over there at the Deland area where they had the detainment, uh, or not the detainment, the shooting out there off 5-4? Did you head out that way? Yeah, yeah, I was out there along with county deputies. Yeah, a the bunch HP, of them. A bunch of uh, a bunch of people. So, uh, Lieutenant, I was just a little little concerned about, like, the unlawful detainment of about 200-plus people. Okay. Um, I know there was a shooting. I get it. And uh, But at the same time, some people were, by your department were actually required to give ID and to give phone numbers and check their tags before they could even leave. Okay. And that's kind of a scary thing to happen with the department. I know that probably the county took over that call. Right. It, it was in the county's jurisdiction. And yeah. They requested to try to ad identify as many people as they could yeah. prior to leaving. Yeah, and and some of the officers there were forcing ID and saying like, "You got to give me your name, okay. give me your tag number." Um, I hope you're, you know, you, you respect the Constitution. I, uh, oh, more more than you know. Yeah, so more than you know. I, usually, when people say more than they know, it's 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 the opposite of that. Uh, it, you respect it for yourself and, and like your team, but uh, but I was just like I said, a little concerned about it. You guys, seem, every time I come over here to land, you seem pretty decent. Um, but yeah, we. We were out there for for yeah. report of shots fired. Yeah. Um, a bunch of people were leaving at the point that we arrived. He doesn't want to hit us. Yeah, that's right. Um, at the point that uh, we arrived, we didn't know if we had injured what we yeah, had. Yeah, yeah. And for our safety, what was not going to happen was we were not going to go just barge in there oh, and yeah, drive down that road, right? Because yeah. we don't know if there's a another shooter, shooter. There's shooter injured, whatever maybe. Hey, go 10-8. We appreciate you. Thank you. Um, <laughs> but yeah, and, but like I said, they were just request. They were they weren't requesting. They were they were demanding it uh, ID on there, and I was just like, wow, what a scary situation. And I get that. You know, it's scary when people start uh, shooting firearms sure. in a crowd of people with cars and people speeding away, and that yeah, that, to, that to, gets scary to get away from. It. And what ha what happened is I was over there. I, no, I, you were there. I wasn't. I wasn't at the, the event, but I was over there on I four. That's what he said. He was that guy from I four rode that scooter all the way over from here. But, uh, so you weren't at the event? You didn't no, witness anything? anything. Okay. No. Were you down there by the? Were you at the car event? No, that's that's all I was saying. I was over there doing some journalism stuff and okay. uh, getting okay. some information. Are you a reporter? I, I don't want to ask too many more questions about. It. I just uh, because if you are, I'll refer you to our PIO. No, no, no. Because I because I'm trying to I'm talking to you as a citizen. That was just policy about, at the Land Police Department. Of course. About talking to the media. Yeah. yeah. And there's a and we have a uh, a PIO. Yeah, a PIO. Yeah. Uh, press information officer no, that, I, that gives out the information to to that. So absolutely. I just want to make sure I'm, I'm not, yeah, not going to press that. and, no, and I'm violating any type of uh, land police department policy. No, I think you're good. I just I was expressing my concern with that that unlawful detainment and and basically about it was well we're investigating the potential it was a crime. Sure. It's 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 unlawful discharge of a firearm. Yeah, yeah. Right. Right. So there is a crime occurring. At the point that we're holding people is because we don't know if we have injured. We could have a dead person down there. You could, and we yeah. could We could have the suspect in that line of travel. Yeah, there was a little, there was a little kid in the car that was crying. He's like, there, oh, was a, there were several kids in the car. There were several kids out there. Yeah. Uh, several people took flight from us. Uh, so 
there's a lot of different things, but I believe I'm talking to the press right now. No, I, and I don't want to, and I'm not trying to be rude with sure, you, yeah, I but, you. I, but based on what you're kind of told me, kind of how, how this interaction is going, I believe I'm talking to the press right now I'm just or somebody that's a, in journalism. Journalism. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. And, um, so I'm trying I was trying to say, tell you the citizen about why we were there. Yeah. But of I don't want to, I don't want to don't cross those lines, switch yeah. the hats. I get it. So, so yeah, what I was going to say is those like, you know, that, that our, our constitutional rights don't trump uh, an investigation on police to stop 200. And it's not you. I'm, I'm, this is not towards you, but some of the, the land agency people were there and I guess they were under the direction. Yeah, we were, we were there. But we, yes. I, I was one of them and multiple uh, other yeah, officers yeah. were there. So what I was going to say is, you know, generally the Constitution uh, doesn't get trumped by an investigation unless that person okay. is subject to cre- that, that investigation. And Florida Statute 901-151 explicitly says about detainments but yeah there was like 200 people detained i would just re- just review it because you know as as, yep. as a citizen myself if I, you have any questions about that call for service go ahead and uh, no, I'm it, refer you to the blue county yeah. office and you have a nice night sir okay you too okay lieutenant thank Appreciate you very it. much we'll be out here just try not to violate those rights at the discretion of the sheriff even because it can get you guys too for you know lawsuits you so have a nice night, sir. you too All right, body camera's off on him. Uh, we're going to head out and uh, get out of here. That's Lieutenant Hughes. Uh, he's got the front faux hawk going on and didn't want to talk any further about that when he's worried about the press there. So, all right, they're aware of him here. They're not going to be engaging me anymore. Lieutenant's not going to uh, I'm gonna send a message now. And he's going to tell everybody, everybody to stay, you know, ultimately away from the scooter guy. So, all right, we're going to head out of here. I want to appreciate you guys for watching this video. Thank you for liking and subscribing. You know how everything works. I'm going to see you again. Uh, we're out at the land here. And, uh, you know, they never have, they're never receptive of feedback when you start talking about constitutional rights and frosted uh, faux hawks. All right, guys, we'll see you again soon. If you stick around, we'll do a little tour around the city here, and I'll show you around. Uh, if you don't, thanks for watching the video. I'll see you. All right, so we're going down um, New York Avenue. There, this is one of the busier roads, and it's a it's a pretty cool area to be around and in. Um, a lot of culture down here. There's a lot of little shops and, a, and an old city. It's really pretty. Let me switch hands. And we'll get down here. Oh, that's the back section of like the city hall for the uh, PD. The old courthouse up there, as you guys can see. And if you've ever heard of Deland Wings, it kind of made its way around and, and was kind of like a popular-ish um, event that went on, or, or a uh, mural, I guess you would say. And it is actually up here. We're going to go to it, and we're going to go check it out. We're going to get up over here. So. So it's called Deland Wings, and it, there's that courthouse up close, which, you know, bad. Actually, I don't think that's a courthouse anymore. I think that's just like administrative building or uh, the uh, voter registrations in there. Nah. But this little alley called Artisan Alley is right next to the Deland Wings, and hopefully they have the lights on still. It's a beautiful place to take anybody. You can come down here and just take a walk on it and enjoy it. It's a beautiful place. And since we're here, we'll jump in here. This place is open and we'll do a quick, uh, let's see if I can play this piano. This piano is uh, such a fun one to play. So let's do that. Sorry to get you guys involved in this uh, weird little tour here. But we're gonna play, let's see if it'll play. Oh, my fingers are cold. <laughs> So it plays, and let's see what we got. Cold, though.
sounds pretty good. All the keys are broken on it, so it's like all messed up there. Uh, but anyway, this is Artisan Alley, and if you come down this road here, uh, Deland Wings are just on the other side over here. Uh, we will uh, zip over there real quick and check that out. Isn't that cool? The musical butterfly. <clears throat> oh boy, what a what a crazy night. And here we are, this is the land wings, and I'll leave you guys with that. Thank you guys for watching, liking, and subscribing. We'll see you again soon.